In classical mechanics, the energy of light is continuous, but this doesn't always match observation. In quantum mechanics, energy can only take on discrete values, however, the units are unbalanced. The equation E equals H times F is Planck's energy frequency relation and is the energy of a single quantum of light called a quote photon. In Fractal Woman's modified unit analysis, balancing the units of the Planck relation formula reveals a minimum unit of energy. In quantum mechanics, the energy of a quote photon is quantized by the following equation. E equals HF, where E is the energy, H is the Planck's constant, and F is the frequency of light. Frequency is the number of cycles or oscillations per unit time. The international standard or SI unit for frequency is Hertz, which has base units of 1 over second or second to the power of negative 1. A pendulum is shown making 25 complete oscillations in 60 seconds, which gives a frequency of 0.416 Hertz. The Planck constant is referred to as the quantum of action and is associated with the quantum or minimal element of the energy to the electromagnetic wave. In SI units, its value is 6.626 times 10 to the power of negative 34 joules per hertz or joule second. When Planck's constant is written in units of joules per hertz, the energy equation is balanced. However, if Planck's constant is written in units of joule second, the energy equation is unbalanced since there is a hidden unit of quote one remaining. In Fractal Woman's modified unit analysis, the unit of cycles is accounted for using the delta or triangle symbol instead of ignored using the number one. Thus, Planck's constant has units a joule times second divided by cycles and the energy equation is balanced. Accounting for the units of cycles reveals that Planck's constant can be interpreted as being the energy of one cycle multiplied by one second. The term one second appears to be an arbitrary construct. Since one cycle of an electromagnetic wave is just its wavelength, this means Planck's constant is equivalent to the energy of one cycle or wavelength multiplied by one second. If we decouple the unit of time from Planck's constant, the energy equation becomes modified Planck's constant multiplied by time and frequency. This new Planck's constant has units of joules per cycle and is equivalent to the energy of one cycle or one wavelength. This new Planck's constant, indicated by the subscript delta, can be interpreted as the quantum of energy. The energy equation now becomes the quantum of energy multiplied by time and frequency. Higher frequency of light has more energy because it contains more cycles and hence more quanta of energy per one unit of time and vice versa lower frequency light has less energy because it contains less quanta of energy per time higher frequency light has higher intensity because the same quantum of energy strikes a detector at a smaller area and for a shorter period of time in quantum mechanics, Planck's constant is referred to as the quantum of action. Each light frequency is comprised of a different quantum of energy called a quote photon. The term s or one second inside the units of Planck's constant is a bug. In Fractal Woman's modified unit analysis, this bug is fixed by decoupling the time parameter from Planck's constant this new Planck's constant is the minimum energy or quantum of energy. Every light frequency is made up of the same quantum of energy. 
To reiterate, in modified unit analysis, all light is made up of one quantum of energy and whose value is 6.26 times 10 to the power of negative 34 joules per cycle. In quantum mechanics, there are an infinite number of quanta of energy obtained by multiplying an infinite range of frequencies by the quantum of action 6.26 times 10 to the negative 34 joules times second per cycle.